Hello brain lovers! Now do you remember how we've been taught that during the course of evolution our brain developed and grew in size, which gave us a competitive advantage over other species? Each DNA variation leading to a bigger brain would outcompete former generations, right? The reassuring thought that we were on top of the food chain thanks to our superior brain size was strengthening our belief that somehow all this was meant to be. Evolution was clearly pointing towards our supremacy. Bigger brains means more intelligence, means outsmarting the competition, means ruling the world. Having fun? Something like that. It does make sense and sounds really cool and all, were it not that it's not true. Let's go back some 40,000 years ago, to the end of the last ice age. As the thick pack of ice was slowly receding from mainland Europe, our ancestors found their way to these new green pastures. only to find that they weren't the first ones there. Indeed, Homo Neanderthal had been using these plains as their hunting grounds for thousands of years and had adapted to the rough climate and extreme conditions. They were magnificent. Superior to us in every aspect. They had stronger bones and muscles, could run faster, see and smell better. And yes, they even had a larger brain than we do. Approximately 1600 cubic centimeter versus our 1500 cubic centimeter. But wait, it's getting better. When it comes to brain size, those same Homo sapiens of 40,000 years ago did have a larger brain than we do today. In other words, our brains aren't becoming bigger. On the contrary, they are shrinking. Approximately at least 1400 cubic centimeters now for 1500 before. So what's happening? Why did evolution reverse and what does it all mean? Are we dumber than Neanderthal? Are we more dumber -der than 40,000 years ago? <laughs> Don't worry, Skrull. Now there are plenty of tards out there living really kick-ass lives. Well, lucky for us, brain size doesn't always matter. Otherwise, sperm whales and elephants would be ruling the planet. Hmm, on second thoughts, that might not have been such a bad idea. Now brain size tend to vary according to body size. A stronger body with more muscles would need more brain volume to handle it, which partially explains the difference with Neanderthal. Now there are loads of theories around regarding our shrinking brains. These go from uh, changing diets, you know, like less protein with uh, agriculture, over childbirth. Larger heads are, are more difficult to give birth to. Are you in unbearable pain? Is it inhuman? My darling, is it torture? Oui. To global warming, yes. Warmer climates leads to less body mass to keep us warm. There is one theory I'm really fond of, and that is the individual intelligence of Homo Neanderthal versus the social intelligence of Homo sapiens. You see, Neanderthal was great. He was strong and smart enough to survive individually in a dangerous world. He lived in small groups and thrived in a hostile environment. Now, Homo sapiens, on the contrary, was way too weak and on an individual level. We actually had no choice than to team up with others to have a chance to survive. Paradoxically, it is our weakness and limitations that paved the way to our success. So our brain turned us into truly social beings with a strong emphasis on communication. There where every member of a Neanderthal clan was able to do everything that needed to be done, we started to specialize, share and rely even more on each other. And as members of the clan died, our higher communication skills led us to transfer knowledge from one generation to another. And you probably see where this is leading, right? As time went by, technology helped us to share our knowledge even more. From books to radio over television and internet, we've been relying each time more heavily on external sources and using our own stocking device, aka our brains, well, using them less and less. It's needless to say that it costs way less energy to know how and where to find information rather than remembering the information itself. So yes, our brain size is shrinking and it will continue to do so. It means we're becoming increasingly more efficient and more social. Just remember that, as with more things in life, it's not size that matters. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. I tell you, it just doesn't matter. It's how we use the equipment. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out some of the other episodes. And if you want the real stuff, go to brainacademy.com. Join over 250,000 students and start using your brain better. Brain out. Sharp.